go ahead and uh, let head coach John Rittman give a brief opening statement, and then we'll open it up to questions. Coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, uh, very exciting game today. Um, our first ever uh, game in an ACC tournament for our young program, and just really proud of the way we came out and played. Um, Valerie Cagle in the circle, just um, can't say enough about her. Um, you know, she's she's a second year freshman, kind of learning how to pitch in these big games as we go. And, and uh, I'm very proud of the way she uh, pitched today against a very good hitting Georgia Tech team. Um, I mean, obviously to have 14 Ks is just phenomenal, um, but give a lot of credit to Georgia Tech for still battling and getting runners in scoring position off Valerie. And, you know, and, and when we needed it, we got the plays today. Um, you know, defensively, I thought we played really well, uh, had some big hits to huge hits by Cami Pereira. Just um, can't say enough about her leadership in our program, but just her, you know, ability to, you know, just battle at the plate. Um, we've had her down in the nine hole for a while and, and wanted to use her to kind of turn over the lineup. And, um, but she's just been seeing the ball so well and hitting it so hard. We decided to move her up to the sixth spot today and uh, just can't say enough about her and her two big hits. We're just, uh, Huge, huge uh, to get us over the hump in that game. Um, again, a very hard fought game. Replay was used for the first time this year and they got the calls right, which is the most important thing. And um, now we kind of turn the page here and, and get ready for, for our next ball game tomorrow. Hey Coach, Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How much does it help your team at the plate to take pressure off of things when Valerie goes out and has a performance like she did today? I think it's huge. You know, you know, Valerie, all of our pitchers are going to keep us in the game. And, um, you know, we, we faced Georgia Tech's pitcher Nelliman early in the year, and she's definitely a, a different pitcher um, right now than she was then. I think she was a little banged up, but she was healthy today. She was keeping us off balance. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think when Valerie's in the circle, our, our offense has a tendency to relax a little bit and, and put some good at-bats together. You know, we left some runners on base, uh, you know, but this time of year, it's really about getting those timely hits. And, and like I said, Cammy got two of the big timely hits today to help us out. Good hey, Coach, it's David Hood with Tiger Net. It, we we saw that Valerie was uh, crying a little bit there in the dugout if she took that line, or is she okay? Yeah, I think she's, I think she's going to be okay. I know, I know it hit her in the uh, side of the leg, so it didn't hit bone. Um, I think a, a lot of the emotions of being in that tight situation and have a ball hit off you um, obviously takes its, its toll. But uh, Valerie's a tough, competitive kid, and, and um, we'll, we'll get a report um, later on and, and see how she's doing. But I, I think she's fine. Hey, Coach. Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. The decision to uh, intentionally walk their heavy hitter, Awald, in the sixth inning, you put the go-ahead run on second. Uh, that was obviously a critical decision, but it paid off for you. Yeah, sometimes you got to take chances, and that's, you know, a coach showing their best hitter and one of the best hitters in our conference, if you look at her numbers, uh, a respect. And, you know, I, I would do that all over again because I just felt like the, the next couple of hitters were not seeing the ball well off Valerie. And, you know, from our earlier series this year, um, we faced that same situation with Allwald at the plate um, with two outs in the – in the seventh inning and she lined one, I mean, about as hard as she could hit a ball off of Kago right to our shortstop Gilstrap for the final out of the game. So, you know, we, we talked over there and, and discussed it a little bit and decided that, Hey, let's make their next hitter beat us. Um, let's not let their best hitter, Trisha Allwald beat us in that situation. Have you Coach, seen that kind of power from Cami this year? And were you surprised to see two jump off the bat like they did today? Not at all. I mean, Cammie has power. I, I can remember our first practice hitting BP in our stadium and she uh, broke the uh, in and Clemson on top of the stadium. So she's definitely has power. And when she's swinging it well, you know, that's that's the results you get. And, you know, Cammie's just a very versatile hitter. She can beat you with a bunt. She, she can hit the ball on the ground, um, but she's got good line drive power and hits for average and an experienced player who stepped up in a big time moment today. 
Coach, the uh, Cammy also made a big play. Uh, the tag at second probably saved you a run there in the sixth. Um, does that just kind of exemplify this team? Uh, we've seen uh, Valerie as, as the hero so often this season, but it, it seems like in a lot of other games you've had just numerous other players, whether it be Bingham or, or Cammy today or, or Marissa or, or Ansley, just so many players um, step up in, in big moments when you needed it. Yeah, one of our main objectives this year was to play better defense. And Cammie certainly is a big part of our defense up the middle. And, you know, she made a diving catch on all wall, the little sinking line drive earlier in the game, too. That was a huge play. Um, but just, yeah, I mean, it seems like every game somebody makes a huge play defensively for us. And I felt like our, you know, right fielder Oda made a great play on the base hit to right and made a, a great throw, bang, bang, play at third. Um, could have went either way. And obviously, you know, replay showed that she was safe. But, you know, we, we, uh, we've made, made that one of our goals this year is to improve defensively, and, and it starts up the middle with JoJo, Gilstrap, Cammie, and, and Clark, and, and they, they've been making plays this year. Hey, Coach, it's Zach with TigerNet. Uh, <clears throat> Cammie announced uh, the other day that she's coming back for her sixth year. Uh, how, how excited are you to get her back and uh, have your leader of the team back? Oh, it was one of the best days of the year when Cammie came in and, and, and said she was going to probably put off medical school, but she had to work out the curriculum with the Clemson, uh, Clemson faculty um, to make sure she was still doing the things she uh, needed to do to, to get acceptance into the medical school program. So um, she's, uh, you know, she took, had to take a couple weeks off for, for COVID related issues. And I think that just uh, kind of told her that, uh, you know, maybe another year of playing is really a good thing because, you know, at the end of the day, medical school can wait, but this may be your last opportunity to play softball. But, you know, we didn't pressure her at all. That was a decision based on, you know, purely Cammie's heart. And, and I know she, she wrestled with it for a while, but when she made that decision, I know a lot of people at Clemson softball were happy. Obviously, you guys play uh, the winner of Virginia Tech and Notre Dame tomorrow. Uh, so two questions. Uh, one, what do you think was the difference between the first time that you guys saw uh, Richard in your series against Virginia Tech earlier this year and the second game? Uh, and the second question, uh, what do you think about Notre Dame and uh, their win streak and the way that they've been playing lately? Yeah, well, Keely Richard's one of the best pitchers in the country, you know, and we were very fortunate to see her early in the year. And uh, we jumped on her early in the, the first game of that series, and and uh, and then the next day she came out and really pitched a terrific game against us. So we know um, we're gonna, you know, if, if Virginia Tech beats Notre Dame, we know that we're gonna see uh, an outstanding pitcher and an outstanding team. And you know, we just go play softball. You know, we prepare properly and 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 go out and and try to execute against a very good pitcher. You know, Notre Dame obviously we watched them and scouted them, and they're a very good team. And and we know that. Uh, they have two very capable pitchers. They have some speed. They have power in the lineup. There's a reason they swept Virginia Tech during the regular season. They're not an outstanding team. Obviously, we didn't get to play them because of COVID issues. But, uh, you know, either way, you know, it's going to be a great, great ball game. I think you're, you're seeing the best teams in our conference battle it out. And um, what better way to prepare you for the NCAA tournament? Time for one more question. All right. Cammie's going to be up in just a second. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach.